What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the internet? Hope all of you are doing okay. Today, unfortunately, I lost my pet. And if you're wondering, what pet, Abdullah? You don't really have a dog, you don't have a cat, you don't have anything. Well, my longboard was my pet. I mean, if you think about it, usually you take your dogs to the park, you go around, enjoy the weather. And that's exactly what I did with my longboard. I filmed a lot of great shots with it. I've had this board for a long time. A lot of people right now watching this video are thinking, why is he acting sad and like this? I'm not really that sad, like, like I almost lost an actual pet, but it was a part of the vlog. It was a big part of the vlog. Before I talk any further, how about we pay a tribute to the longboard? Roll the clip. So the last time I lost my longboard was when I was at the skate park and there was a lot of snow as you guys saw in the snow vlog and yeah I think I just forgot about it because I was just in this hurry of getting the vlog done and I was thinking so much about the footage that I lost the longboard. It's not that big of a deal but still it was a part of the vlog, it had a value to me and all those people who own longboards, you know the feeling right now. Now if you think of today's vlog is gonna be just me sitting down here and reminiscing on my longboard, then you're mistaken. So today's vlog is gonna be very interesting. Usually I start the vlog in the beginning of the day, when it's pretty much noon or afternoon, right? Tomorrow's vlog is starting right now, which is 11 p.m. That means I'm gonna continue the vlog tomorrow. And we will be buying a new longboard. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not so happy right now. One of the reasons why I'll miss this longboard is it reminded me of my past. Back then in the day, before I had the car, I used to always longboard to work. Day, night, rain. I even tried going on the snow, but it didn't really work out. So this longboard had a lot of memories. But yeah, I guess sometimes in life, we lose things to gain other things. And that is something you can take from this video. If you lost something small in your life, like a board, or a bicycle, or or a laptop, or a cell phone, or whatever it is. Know that in life you're always experiencing small losses, and just be grateful that you didn't really experience a big loss. For example, like losing someone you love, or anything like that, which makes it a lot better, so it's just an object. At the end of the day, we can easily replace it with another one. So not to make this video so dramatic, on to future Abdullah. So right now we're getting some exercise going, you know, getting the blood moving. So, guess who's back? What's up? Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Shady's back. So Mickey, what are we gonna be doing today? We're gonna exercise our mind and body. So right now, guys, we're gonna get some exercise going. We're gonna get some work done on the chest, last tricep with Mickey. So without further ado, roll the montage. your blood, your sweat, your tears, and your skin. See, one thing I always say is, one of the hardest things about working out 
is getting yourself from point A to point B. So you could be in a meeting, you could be working, you can be chilling, you can be doing a lot of things. But to transition yourself from that place to working out is the hardest part. All right, guys. So we just finished up with the workout right now. Mickey's gonna go do his own thing. So, Mickey, that was a good workout. He's on And we're back. So right now we're gonna head out to the skateboard shop. We're gonna see what boards they have to offer. And we'll see if there's any skaters out there who can do some sick tricks for the vlog. So until then, on to the next clip. Let me first clarify that I'm not sponsored by Land Yachts. I paid for it just like anyone would. They just gave me a good deal and they were nice. Back to the clip. So right now we're with Blake over here from Land Yacht. What's up, folks? So right now, guys, we're gonna be looking at a very unique longboard. It's called the Battle Axe. Since I don't really know much about longboards, how about we let the professional tell you all about the Battle Axe? Well, as mentioned, this is the Battle Axe. This is the 40-inch version. She is a pure maple longboard using some rock-solid Canadian maple. You know, a little bit of Canadian. I never heard anyone. And speaking of Canadiana, Land Yachts is a, a Canadian company. We're 20 years old, started right here in Vancouver. Same two guys who started it back in university 20 years ago. Still run it today. And yeah, we put a lot of passion and love into all of our boards and the Battle Axe is exactly the same. So this one offers what's called a drop through, which means the trucks actually mount to the top of the board, not the bottom. So you can see the truck sitting here. What that does is it gets us a lot lower to the ground, lowers our center of gravity, increases our control over the board, and makes it a lot more stable when we get moving kind of quickly. So on top of that, we use a little bit more of a modern pintail shape, so it's still that kind of big teardrop, kind of like a surfboard. But because we dropped it lower to the ground, we're gonna give it some nice wheel cutouts, so you can run a bit bigger tire, or wheel as we actually call them, and that gives you the ability to turn, get a lot of control out of the board, and keep it nice and low. So another cool point of interest, the graphic on this board is an artist named Andreas Priest, guy out of Germany. He's kind of a big deal, check him out. I know he's got an Instagram channel that's got some big stuff. He does work for BMW, um, Mini Cooper, Adidas. He's a pretty big deal and we've been working with him for years. He's a super nice guy, I've actually hung out with him a few times and he is a very talented artist. So Battle Axe Canadian board, little German love in the graphics and uh, it's going to be one sweet ride. So what do you say right now that Abdullah Hamid will be walking on one of the best longboards that we have across BC? I think you're right up there for sure. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> so make sure guys to come out here if you want to buy any of longboards and make sure to let them know that you came from Abdullah Hamid's channel. So what's your guys' address so in case any of the viewers want to come here? Yeah, we're 1146 Union Street or just look for land yachts on Google when you get to Vancouver. Alright, sounds good. You heard it. So we thank Blake very much. Hey. Thank you very much. So right now guys, we're gonna go on a downhill skid all the way down there and we'll test this longboard out. So without further ado, on to the longboard shots. Feels good, it's very flexible. So how about we right now head out to some park. So without further ado, on to the next clip.
So the very first time I came to this park to get some longboard shots, I experienced one of the most annoying experiences that I've had while vlogging and doing all those shots. So basically I had my cell phone on one of those rocks over there. And yeah, it kind of slipped through the rocks and it went bang, 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 and it was pretty much gone. So let me give you guys a look of how it was when it dropped. It literally fell in one of those rocks all the way down there. Yeah, I guess you can say from there was pretty much gone. So I didn't really have a very good experience at first vlog here. So hopefully this phone doesn't fall through and hopefully we get this vlog through the internet. Because the last vlog that I filmed pretty much I had an entire shot that didn't go on camera. And yeah, it pisses me off. Filming all those shots and at the end of the day you have the phone go away. Yeah. It was a pretty big bummer, not gonna lie. So, without further ado, roll to the time lapse. Hope you guys enjoyed all those shots that I filmed at Sunset Beach. So I thought to myself, what's a better place to end the vlog other than the skate park? One, for one reason is because I bought the longboard today. Second reason is because the very first vlog that I filmed was in this park and I kind of spelled, I spelled something wrong there, but don't check it. Or you know what? You can go ahead and check it if you want to see. This is actually, as a matter of fact, is the same park that I lost my other longboard. Hopefully some kid is enjoying it right now and having fun with it. So as long as someone is having fun with my old longboard, that's all good. I have a new one right now and life is good. So I'm thankful that I'm able to buy a new one. So not all my videos are going to be just talent shows and crazy stuff happening in downtown. A lot of times they can be simple vlogs showcasing the beauty of Vancouver. You know what I mean? So if you guys enjoyed the simple vlog, please make sure to like. And if you guys want to see more and you want to stay tuned to all my videos. So that way when I'm posting any video, you don't miss it. Can you please subscribe? And I'll remind you guys again. Make sure it says subscribe. If it's saying subscribe, there's something wrong with your YouTube. This is an emergency situation. I'm telling you right now. It should not say subscribe. It should say subscribe. And if you guys want to be notified on a secondly basis, wherever you are in the world, around all the content and all the countries, make sure to ring the notification bell. And as always, you guys know what to do with Abdul Hamid. Stay awesome and peace.